Thursday morning means we spotlight the weekend, and with the Jaguars on the road and not playing in Buffalo until Monday night, the attention turns to the season finale for the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp as they're home against the Gwinnett Stripers all the way through Sunday, which is the final uh, baseball game of the year at 121 Financial Ballpark. Two chances for you to win $1,000 this morning in the payroll payout. Listen at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. today and again on Friday. And be listening to Jacksonville's Morning News Friday morning. We're going to be spotlighting the return of the Jacksonville Symphony, uh, the 75th anniversary of the great symphony that we have in our community. And, and honestly, if you've not experienced the symphony in recent years, you are missing something pretty incredible. This is not your grandfather's symphony. It's not the stuffy symphony. It is an electric atmosphere when you visit Jacoby Symphony Hall. In fact, we'll be live at Jacoby Symphony Hall on Friday morning. Be listening as we bring you close to the music, close to the action and the stories that will be made through throughout this symphony season. Cannot wait to bring you that broadcast uh, live from one of the uh, big parts of our cultural economy here in Jacksonville. Uh, be listening Friday starting at 6 o'clock on Jacksonville's Morning News. A number of stories making news today. In weather, obviously, we go drier now after a pretty significant rain ban that moved through the area during the afternoon hours. We had some isolated severe weather and uh, ponding and standing water in St. Augustine, what's new. Uh, looks like our pattern is going to turn a little bit drier overall for the remainder of this week and into the weekend, but Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish is spotting a return to a significant downpours into next week and the potential of tropical influences. Be following Talk in the Tropics with Mike through the weekend at WOKV.com. We have had traffic alerts on 95 in St. John's and Nassau County. It's a reminder to download our app and we can send you traffic alerts so you get the heads up before you get behind the wheel and you can find the best alternate because when you've got a uh, area like 95 and 210 closed, you have got a lot of alternates, but it's going to take you way out of the way and you need extra time. That's why we're here to update you in the WOKV app and with the first alert traffic updates throughout Jacksonville's morning news on 104.5 WOKV and streaming on all devices.